Hi, how are you all? My name is Evan Siegel, and I'd just like to start by thanking all the members of the University of Maryland and Clark School of Engineering for coming here today and listening to an improvement that I think can be made to the School of Engineering and more specifically to the Civil Engineering Department to better elevate what our students can accomplish. I'd just like to begin with a quick poll of all of the professors and faculty in here. How, raise your hand if you've experienced a time that you were locked out of your classroom, locked out of your office, or maybe you were barred from using the computer that you needed in order to perform your job. Yeah, it's not surprising this hasn't happened to any of you. I mean, it would be crazy to think that you are locked out of a classroom when there's students in there waiting to learn from you. However, this is not necessarily the case for our civil engineering students here. What I'm referring to is the lack of computer lab space that our civil engineering students are facing. I am proposing that a new computer lab be built for the civil engineering department and more importantly, that is open at all times of the day to all students within the civil engineering major. There are three main reasons that I think that this is a necessity. One would be that the current Glenel Martin room 1156 is not open for students from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on an average weekday. Two would be that an additional lab would allow for students to be able to work on side projects or maybe just explore the software that they have available to them, which would make them better rounded students who just have more knowledge on the software that's out there. And three would be that the virtual computer lab, which is in place to keep from this being an issue is a complete nightmare for your average student to use. Now, back to point number one, room 1156 in Glen O'Martin. I just have to start by showing you all a picture of Glen O'Martin. This is a room, room 1156 that I was referring to. It's a computer lab on the first floor that has 40 workstations, all with basically brand new 17 inch monitors that are outfitted with all of the software that you can need. I'm talking everything that a student here would need to complete any project or any assignment that they're given. However, the issue is the schedule for room 1156. These are the actual hours that you can use 1156 as a student. And I'm not referring to the blue box up here. As you can see, these are times that's reserved by classes. Whether it be classes that have the room scheduled every day throughout the semester, when they're in session, or they're simply a class that reserves one, one day a week, every now and then, just to work on the project that's going along and giving students time to be in there. The problem with this is Monday through Thursday, when most students want to be doing their work, the only time they can really be in there until after 5 p.m., or even on Monday and Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. on an average week, is 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Now, this is a time that students could go in and they can knock out a little bit of work midday, However, I've had the experiences where I've been in there working on, say, my capstone project, and I'm really just getting work done. It's going really well. All of a sudden, I look down at the time, and it's 11.55. Students are starting to come in for the following class, and I'm getting kicked out, and I can't keep working on my project, and it just messes up my study schedule for the rest of the day, because now I have to come back in, and I have to keep doing my work later on in the day when I'm supposed to be doing something else. Now, I'd like to talk about Point number two. Point number two is that having an additional lab that is open to all students and not simply students who have swipe access through 1156 as a class that they're taking would allow them to explore the software that they have available to them. Whether it be through a side project or simply just tinkering around, seeing what's out there and seeing what they should maybe learn. I've experienced that in my internship over the past two summers, I've been using programs such as SP Beam, SP Column, AutoCAD Civil 3D, Hydrologic Engineering Systems such as Aspen. Now, these are all things that I was introduced through my internship, not through the university. However, the university does have every single one of these on the computers in room 1156. I just didn't get to use them because I never really had the opportunity to just go in there, sit around, mess around with the computers, see what software they have, maybe play with AutoCAD a little bit, play with MicroStation and see what I like. But having this new lab that is open to everybody and not just students who have a class in there would give you the opportunity to better yourself and better understand what's out there as a civil engineering student. Now, my third point, 
the virtual computer lab is a nightmare. The virtual computer lab is a great idea, however, it doesn't really work. It's supposed to be that you can work on it anywhere, at any time, on any computer. If you've used it, you know that that's simply not true. Anytime, it's crashing constantly. You can't even get on the site. You sit there, it's loading, loading, loading. Or then anywhere. Yeah, if your internet's not perfect like you are hardwired into an ethernet cable in a lab, you may experience a lot of glitches with it. You're sitting there, an assignment might take you know, 15, 20 minutes while you're in there for say ENC 200 is taking you an hour and 45 minutes because you're spending half the time looking at the buffering wheel spin round and round as you simply try to draw a line. And the third would be that it's supposed to work on any computer. This isn't true. My laptop crashes most times that I've tried to use a virtual computer lab. Which just brings me back to my original thesis statement. We need a new computer lab that is open to all civil engineering students throughout the entire day. Let me just leave you with the thought that the University of Maryland and the Clark School of Engineering consider themselves to be leaders in innovation, leaders in technology that produce leaders of tomorrow. However, these leaders of tomorrow will never come up with their innovative ideas if they're never able to use the tech that is supposed to be available to them. Thank you all for letting me come in here today and speak to you. I'm honored to be presenting this to you as, on behalf of all civil engineering students, as I think that this is an improvement that would benefit everyone within the civil engineering major. Thank you very much.